All right, I've got our VMRC loaded up and we're gonna boot this VM and through some tests. Uh, in my particular case, as you saw my unattend, I'm using the GPT uh, partition layout and due to that, the uh, boot system for this VM is using UEFI. If I were to use BIOS, I would have to use the MBR format part. Uh, so we'll uh, see how this all goes. So we're gonna power it on, should get a DHCP IP and then connect to our Pixie boot system, which is netboot.xyz. And there it is. Let it configure and soon we should get to the menu. Uh, the menu is pretty cool. Put a lot of pre-operating system tools such as memtest86 or uh, gparted, things like that. Uh, you can also do Linux network installs, uh, live CDs, etc. Um, the options are different based on whether you're using uh, legacy such as BIOS uh, versus UEFI. Um, but we're going to go ahead and pick Windows. The overrides are already in place on the netboot.xyz system, so this is the correct base URL, and I'm just going to load the Windows installer. So we're booting up into the Windows pre-installation environment. Our unattend.xml should handle most of the work for us, but not all. And we'll see that in a moment. So right now it's doing the uh, unattend XML's version of the disk part. And now we're running our setup. And even though this is unattended, you'll find that we still need to pick the version of the operating system that we're going to use. And that's because some of the systems in my home use Windows 11 Professional, while some use Windows 11 Enterprise. Uh, so we should still get prompted to select one of those. And there it is. So I'm going to pick Enterprise here. And you can see we're starting the normal process. We didn't have to select any partitioning information or anything like that. And this is going. So I'm going to pause it here and we'll come back when this all finishes. All right, so the install is completed and it's doing its uh, first restart here. Let's see what happens. All right, we know we're not booting off Pixie now because we didn't see any of the Pixie loading commands. So this is booting Windows off the hard drive. Uh, fair warning, this is the SAN. Uh, the slow storage on the SAN, so it's not going to boot up super quick. Obviously, your home systems are going to be a lot faster. I'll pause while this loads. All right, we can see starting services now. And we've hit the getting devices ready section. Okay. All right, so we'll be seeing the GUI load up here in just a moment. 